welcome back to another video. My name is Alex with Junk and Disorderly, and I am a full-time reseller online on the platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Macari, Depop, and Etsy. So if you like reseller-related content, please stick around. So today I have another video for y'all, um, obviously. <laughs> um, it's going to be a short little um, thrift haul. Um, and I am currently in my daughter's room because my kids are over there in the other room and I just wanted to make a quick video um, for this week. Um, <clears throat> this week actually and last week I just haven't been in the mood to <laughs> really leave my house. I don't know if y'all ever get the same where y'all are like in a rut, y'all just want to lay down on the couch watch netflix and just cover up and not do anything well <laughs> um that's how i felt last week and this week um i don't know if it's because every time i go out i'm hardly ever finding anything um or like the prices have just gone up <laughs> but that's what has been happening like the last week or week and a half um i have a thrift haul from like this entire week um from last friday up until today is thursday so up until today and um it's not that many things and i thought i like stay inside and at, at home and try to let the thrift stores like replenish their supply i don't know because every time i go it looks like they're putting out new inventory but when I'm there, I'm just like not finding anything. So maybe I need to try going at like a different hour or a different time of the day. But yeah, so anyway, um, I have a couple of things here that I purchased for myself. It's not really like thrift, like I didn't find it at the thrift store. I just bought it off of Parsh Parshmark, <laughs> off of Poshmark for myself. Um, so they might end up finding my way into my, uh, Poshmark closet if I decide to sell them. Um, they are two new <laughs> vintage coach handbags. Um, yeah, as you guys can tell, probably I, um, love vintage coach. I just think the leather is so luxurious and, um, really great quality, um, and you can't really beat the the quality and the price i mean sometimes some of the vintage coach items are really expensive but um for certain items you can still find a great deal so um i have these two bags i've actually been wanting this bag for a while and i finally saw it come up on poshmark for like 40 bucks this is the vintage coach Regi regina bag it has a top handle, the classic coach turn lock, and a back pocket. It's in a mahogany brown, and it is just a cute little mini bag. Um, it kind of reminds me of a, I don't know, does it kind of look like an Hermes Kelly maybe? Maybe, <laughs> the style I guess. Um, it is really deep. For such a mini bag let me open it here so it can fit quite a lot in there um, if y'all can even see I know it's really dark but it can fit quite a lot and I have actually been loving um, like mini bags like smaller bags like this because I can still fit a whole bunch of stuff in there that I need and it's super light so this one i did pay like 40 or 45 dollars i think for it um it didn't come with a strap and it was super dry when i got it so i did clean it well actually the hardware i think was already pretty good but i did condition it and it just looks really great um i do have another brown vintage brown coach bag that i'm going to take the strap and use for this one and i also did buy a um chain off of amazon for it it's like a vintage brass hardware that looks very similar to this uh vintage coach hardware so um 
I'll be using that for this. So I don't, I don't foresee myself getting rid of this because I have been looking for this one for a while. I'm going to try it out to see if I do like the style, but I'm pretty sure I do like it. It has the back pocket that I like for my phone, a top handle, which is easy access, and I can use my crossbody strap. So, um, and these I've seen sell or for sale for like 150 plus. So, um, $45 was a great deal. Um, and the next one is this one, which I'm pretty sure, um, well, I'm not pretty sure, but this one does look more like an Hermes Kelly or a Birkin or I don't know I'm not familiar with that but it has um that look to it it has the turn lock a top handle this is also in like a mahogany brown color I'm not sure it's a little bit lighter than this mahogany color but this one people say that is like a caviar leather but it's just basically like um I guess like a pebbled leather um and this other one is like a smooth leather so this one is like a pebbled leather and it's super soft it has a back pocket and this one is called the uh, Madison it's a vintage coach bag from the Madison collection and it's called the Gracie so um, this one actually is a little bit harder to find um, just because I was watching someone's YouTube and she was comparing no she wasn't comparing it she had this bag and another bag from the Madison line and I said to myself I have to have it so I was on the hunt looking for it um something that wasn't too expensive um because I don't really <laughs> I don't like paying up for a whole lot of things but for this one I think I paid 80 or 90 dollars for it about 80 or 90 dollars for this one um it also did not come with a strap but this one is a little bit different because it doesn't have like the d-rings on the side i can't really add a strap to the side but i'll show you what i was gonna do like i said back pocket it has a little bit of wear on the back um this one does come with feet and so on the inside it's supposed to have like this leather strap that goes in here so um it's unfortunate but i know it happens so the same gold chain that i bought for this one um i have decided to use it as this one it's not when i put it in through the loops it's not quite long enough for a crossbody um but i can use it as like a shoulder bag so i think um i don't know i think i'm gonna be on the hunt trying to look for another strap option that i could use for this one just because I would like the option to crossbody it. Um, but anyway, so here's the inside. Uh, this one is not like the raw leather interior. This one does have like a canvas, I guess, on the inside. And there's the Creed in there. These bags are actually made in Italy. And the leather, um, like I said, is different. And I think on the Coach Creed, or somewhere coach said that over time this leather is just like gets more softer or more pliable I guess and it it does feel really good I've never felt a Chanel caviar bag um, so I can't compare the texture or quality but that's what people compare it to um, so I don't know but yeah so I got this one and actually I didn't really want to get <laughs> these two um, in the same color even though they are very similar style bags in very similar colors but that's just um, how it happened um, so I might be on the lookout if I can find another bag like this in a different color with a strap and sell this one possibly um, but yeah I don't know so those are the two purchases that I made for myself um, the next couple of items I have, I think, I think I might have something else in there that I purchased for myself, but I'll get to that later. So the first item that I have here um, is going to be this purple um, leather purse. Um, it would be super cute as a clutch. You can hold it like this, but it does come with a crossbody strap. And the brand is Abro. And this one I think is made in Romania. Yeah, genuine leather made in made in Romania 
um and this one is like super soft i couldn't find exactly on like a, a tag anywhere what type of leather this is but it's super soft and it does have a couple of spots right here but yeah all of these items well actually all of them are not listed but some of them are listed i'm going to be listing them throughout the week and the weekend so this one was like six or seven dollars i think um the next items well the next item i have is this um coach uh wallet it is i don't know what the actual name of these are called like a they're like a key wallet or key ring wallet because you can put your keys right here and put it in here or you can also put cash in there um and and it has like these candy wrapper or candy candies on it and then on the back it has a space for your id and then for some cards so i haven't decided um if i want to keep this or sell it but I think I paid like eight or nine dollars, which I do think is a little bit pricey. Um, I know these can retail, I don't know, just depending on if this one was from the outlet or if it was from like the boutique. But I do think this pattern is the uh, outlet pattern. So I think they can range from anywhere between like 25 to like $45. It just depends on the pattern. Um, and I don't think they have this candy one available anymore, but there's that one. Um, and then I also picked up this coach purse. It is a teal, um, tote comes with a double hang tag. It has like this chain whip stitch around the edges and at the bottom. Um, it, I do feel like this is quite a heavy ish bag and these straps are like super thin but there's no real wear on there and that's really good um it has like these tassels right here that has like a turn lock closure the inside actually this bag is literally like a new condition the inside is like super clean and it comes with like this key fob thing to put your keys on and i'm not sure I know this one's a little bit older because here's the Creed patch because the Creed doesn't have like the serial numbers on it. Um, and I think there was a time when they did away with doing that. And um, I think they now they went back to actually putting the serial numbers on there. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to look this one up. I don't, I don't have this one listed yet. I'm not sure. Oh, and this is the horse carriage also when they had this little horse carriage symbol um and to be honest this is not my favorite symbol like this carriage thing by coach i really don't like that um maybe because whenever i see fake coach bags this is what they typically have as the carriage symbol so i feel like <laughs> that's one reason why i don't like that but um Anyway, it doesn't even matter because this one is authentic, but um, yeah, so this one was like $6. So that's why I said that this little wallet was expensive because I paid like 8 or $9 for this and this large fully leather tote was like 6 or $7 and this is just coated canvas. So that's why I feel like this that wallet was a little bit pricey. But um, the next thing I have here, I have these... Um, Actually, these, these are actually for myself. I already showed y'all one in one of the other videos. I showed y'all this one. So I went out and purchased, well, I didn't go out. I purchased this one on Poshmark, like I said in one of the previous videos. It was $5, but I also paid taxes and shipping. So I want to say with taxes, and that's better. So yeah, I paid about $15 after taxes and stuff with it for it um, because I was actually quotation looking for one um and um yeah i don't know i look at the new listings on vintage coach and i do love planner so that's why i say i was looking for one but uh i got that one for myself then i came across this one at 
the at a thrift store so this one is like a full full leather planner and it's the exact same as the other one um it has the coach symbol right here and i already inserted some pages in it but it also had like the the vintage ones in there from whenever this one was made actually no it doesn't that's right this one just had like the dividers like the original dividers in there so um and this one does have obviously a little bit where it has like this stain right here um and then it has like a few indentations and then like right here at the top it has like a little tear so now i have two of these um what i cannot decide which one i want because i really do love this leather but i really do love a full leather one so um, my idea was to sell this one and to keep this one because i already purchased it but i think i might end up reselling this one and just keeping the leather one because i do love leather way better than the canvas and the leather one um so this one was ten dollars at the thrift store which isn't a bad price um i would for sure pay that all day every time i saw it so i got that and then this one um i already had this one and i purchased it from poshmark for ten dollars plus taxes and shipping which is a good deal because sometimes i think this one was an outlet purchase um originally but once they come out with something they don't typically re-release like the same patterns like this floral pattern so i think originally i want to say it was either 45 dollars or 95 dollars. i just i can't remember um but this one is just like the notebook cover um so there's like a pocket in here and i did have like a notebook inside um and the leather smells so good but yeah i decided to get rid of this one because i just don't need this one and the mini one um and then i have like another larger planner and to be honest like i collect planners and i don't even really use them that much but i want to be better at planning and doing it so i'm gonna try so yeah i'm gonna sell this one uh, this one's i think actually already posted um, and then I also got this other coach wallet card case, which is like the other one. I think I like this one better because this one has like a little wristlet on it. Um, or I guess you can always, you know, do it like this, clip your keys on it and put your keys on the inside if you wanted to. Oh, but this one also has like the key ring. So I guess you didn't have to do that. So it has this really cool pattern. Um, it has a pocket right here, a space for your ID, and then one pocket right there. Um, and this is, I don't know if I mentioned, this is from the Poppy line. So this one, I pay like $3 for, um, because this one actually doesn't say coach on it. So the thrift store <laughs> priced this one way less, um, than this one. And both of these were together, um, like in the wallet section. So they didn't even realize that this was coach. But um, yeah, so this is the Poppy line. And the Poppy line, I think, came out years ago. Um, so this one, I don't think it's vintage yet. But um, yeah, and some of the people um, that like the more modern um, coach bags really like this Poppy line or the Poppy line. There's multiple colors and prints and patterns but um i don't think i need both of them so i'm gonna have to decide which one i want to keep for sure um and i have one more wallet in here but i just oh here it is okay so then i also found this little zebra card holder um this one is leather inside and it's like the calf hair zebra print on the outside and this one is club monaco and it has the card and it has the name on the back that says thomas zebra wallet um and then it says 39 dollars. i'm not sure what year this came out like if this is a newer one or an older one but i got it because i thought i could use it and i still think i could use it 
And I also got it because I thought, I think it was like $2 or $3 too, um, that if I didn't like it, I could always resell it. But there's like some cracking right here. I don't know if it's going to pick up on the leather, like right here, because, you know, it's opening and closing and that's like the stress point. So there's like a lot of cracking right there. And then on the opposite side too, um, it's minimal, but... I know me personally, I don't seek, when, like when I buy stuff from a thrift store for a couple of dollars, like this doesn't bother me. But if I'm like buying it um, like on eBay or Poshmark and number one, it's not mentioned in the description or like I don't see it, it does bother me because, um, you know, those cracks could get worse. And I just don't like um, having those types of cracks like that. But, and the other thing, it also smells, I can't tell because this is leather. So it kind of smells like, like mothballs or slash leather. I don't know. So I might just keep this one for myself because I do like card wallets. As you can see, I have a huge collection here. Um, Moving on, so I found a couple pairs of shoes. Um, I found these Doc Martin boots. They're not the typical Doc Martin combat boots, but so these are uh, like a pebbled leather boot, and then the sole isn't as thick as like the regular, like I guess Doc Martins. I can't remember what the other ones are called but you know what i'm talking about like the ones that everyone is always wearing those type of dog martens but these are actually in really good condition um they don't look like they've been worn a whole lot the soles look really good and these are actually listed or on here posted whatever the size says a us ladies 10 and these are the layton doc martens um so yeah these are really good condition um yeah so i picked those up these were ten dollars which is a good deal actually uh the next pair of shoes i picked up were these vintage um platform lei shoes and look at these sandals these are totally <laughs> 90s or y2k um and they have like the lug sole lug platform sole and it's like a nylon um fabric crisscross right here um i couldn't find a size but the weird thing is that the thrift store had these listed as a seven and a half so i was like how how do they know they're a seven and a half so i went ahead and tried them on i wore a size nine and a half and they were like really small so um i'm going to like take measurements of the of the sole and like compare it to like a seven and a half but I do think these are a seven and a half. But anyway, I thought these were super cool. If these were my size, I would for sure keep them and use them in the summertime. And these were like $5. And they already sold for $41, I think it was. Um, the next pair of shoes are these other Doc Martens, which are very similar to the other ones, except these are like... Um, a lot shorter they're not as high up as the other ones and these are suede like a br brown grayish color and it's literally like the same style like the same type of heel um and the inside is like a cool floral pattern um the bottoms look like they've barely been worn um these actually are a size nine a u.s ladies nine they don't have these listed as men's i guess these are not unisex maybe because it doesn't have like the men's size just like those other black ones but i don't know these are my size i don't know if i actually like this style for myself i don't even want to try them on to see if i like them because i already have a couple pairs of docks but these were ten dollars also so that's really good considering how much they price shoes at the thrift store um $10 for a pair of docks is really good. So I came across these boots, which look at the heel. 
they almost look the hill reminds me of like a jeffrey campbell shoe but like the style doesn't so much remind me of jeffrey campbell but i picked these up um first i looked at them and i was like okay they feel really good they're nice leather boots and then the hill and then um i was like actually these look similar to another shoe that i picked up and they are they're the l l artiste spring step here's a spring step on the zipper right there if y'all remember a couple hauls ago i hauled another spring step shoe and those sold pretty fast these are literally like new if you look at the bottom they look like they've only been worn once or twice um so i'm hoping these still do good um i ha i didn't research this particular boot but since the other shoes sold really good for fast i'm hoping these do too oh and these were i think these were like eight or nine dollars actually um and the next shoes i got are these um i guess they're like woven espadrilles but they're like the what is it called raffia like this uh raffia texture and they're like a strappy three strap leather sole sandal and um i actually wasn't gonna pick these up when i passed by them at the thrift store i saw them and i looked at them i was like okay it says carrie forbes i don't i've never heard of that brand and then i looked at the bottom and it said made in morocco and it says leather sole down there on the bottom and the leather sole looks literally brand new and so <clears throat> i picked up the other shoe and the other shoe actually has the price tag on it the original one um from Saks fifth avenue so they were regularly 210 dollars, and then they went on sale for 147 if y'all can see that um yeah so i looked these up just a quick um ebay search and these shoes were like well not these shoes in particular but this brand was selling for a lot of money like in the hundreds so i'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on this style in particular to see how much this one was selling for and i think i paid like four to six dollars sometimes goodwill prices are like all over the place i wish they would be more consistent <laughs> with their shoes because i don't even know sometimes the pricing um and all of this is not actually from the goodwill it's from like all different thrift stores like three or four different thrift stores but i know i got those from the goodwill and the next pair of shoes i was listening to my kids they were over there arguing so let me try to hurry up the next pair of shoes are these todd's um i hesitate with picking up todd's in general whether it be like the handbags or the shoes just because i don't know it's like a more mature style i think um and i just don't want to be stuck having something that might not sell but i think i have picked up todd uh driving moccasins or these loafer shoes two times in the past and they have both sold fairly quickly um in between like the 40 to 50 dollar range and those were smaller shoes if i remember correctly i think a six or a seven and maybe an eight or a nine and these also didn't have a size on them but the thrift store had them labeled as a size 10 i don't know how do they know what size they are because i didn't find it anywhere i tried them on they fit but they were a little bit big almost like a 10 would fit me so i just went ahead and said okay these are probably a size 10. uh so i got these i think they were like seven or eight dollars i can't remember because i already took the price tag off so hopefully these do just as good as the other ones um that i previously sold um i have a few hard goods here so i picked up this um corning wear little coffee um pot i'm not sure if this is going to do good because the what is this the blue corn flower i think that's what it's called the print um i think this print is more common than other prints and honestly i don't think 
these do that good so why did I pick it up I don't know but it was four dollars I thought I could pick it up and put it in my um, antique booth and see maybe if I could sell it for like 15 to 20 dollars maybe um, if not then I could use it myself too um, I think this is like a porcelain or ceramic maybe I don't know but I picked it up it's uh I still like it it says corning where it can hold six cups of water right there on the side so that's pretty good um the last couple of things I got were salt and pepper shakers Whoa. so um when I got there to this thrift store the, someone had cleaned out their huge collection of salt and pepper shakers. Maybe I should have picked up a little bit more, but I picked the ones that I thought were really unique um, and the ones that I thought were really cool. But yeah, so I hope I made a good choice um, with these just to see what happens. So I picked these up. I think these are like Siamese um, kittens and they do have like some crazing it looks like on them and they are a little different in the face if you can tell and they are the pair because one has one hole the other one has two um i don't know what material this is but they don't have the stoppers but i think that could be an easy fix for someone and i think i paid like a dollar 99 for these i thought they were cute maybe i could sell them on etsy or put them in the vintage shop um the next one has to be my favorite so it's this moon on a cloud I really wish I had a pair to it because maybe it could have been the sun or even a star that went with it but sadly it was just the one <laughs> so um and it is the one that has two holes so I believe it is pepper or salt I don't even know whatever so and it, this one does have a stopper there's no uh, marking or maker's mark or anything on any of these but even like as decor on a shelf this would be really cute um his face is a little creepy though but I still like it and the next ones I really do like which is a toaster oven and a piece of bread so um this actually these two were actually separate in another pair that didn't even go together so I just took them apart and put them together because obviously a toaster oven and bread those go together and it literally fits perfectly right here um so this one has the two holes and then the toaster oven has the three holes and these do have the stoppers in them and once again they don't have um like maker's marks but i still think that they were really cute um someone could easily display this like in their kitchen on like a spice rack or something um and i think this is the last thing that i got sadly all week to resell i'm hoping um i think i'll probably go tomorrow to the thrift store to see um i think i went one time this week and literally like every time I go I've only been finding like one or two things so uh, I just took some old stuff to Plato's closet that hasn't been selling that hasn't even gotten any likes um, I've really seen my numbers gone down <laughs> quite a bit on there but um yeah so I went to Plato's closet took them a bunch of stuff and I think they gave me like a hundred dollars which I'm okay with at least I didn't lose out completely um some of the stuff was from like the thread up box so um I still made a couple of dollars I guess on there my Amazon package is here but anyway so I picked up this vintage belt these belts I never know how to photograph them because they're so difficult but it's a leather croc embossed and it has this really cool detail on both sides of the buckle like this silver turquoise and it has like these tassels that tie around you so this is really cool i like selling this style of belt because they do sell fairly good usually like for 25 dollars um this one is obviously brighton if you didn't notice you can normally tell a Brighton belt from like the silver and just the style basically you can tell 
Um, this one I think has a price, so it's $5.99. Hopefully I'll be able to get this uh, price off of here before it sells. I did already take pictures and list this one. I actually took pictures of everything, but I'm just like slowly listing it so I can get some traction and action on my Poshmark and accounts every day. But yeah, I thought this one was super cute. So that is the end of my short little quick haul. I know I think this video is already like 20 minutes long. It was a quick haul just because just because I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. Um, if you think about it like all week <laughs> since last Friday, this is what I found. It's not that much. Um, but hopefully everyone's sales are doing better than mine. I did sell a few higher priced items, so that's good. But I would still like to see more sales, hopefully for the future. Fingers crossed 2023 is going to be better. But um, yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and like it. That really helps me and that helps push the video out to other people that might like these types of videos. I really appreciate that. And I'll see y'all in the next video, guys. Bye.